Hi everyone, I just wanted to provide a quick video to show you how to use the Google Cultural Institute. Um, first, I would just like to explain really quickly that um, for all of your assignments, we have, um, <clears throat> I have a checklist at the bottom of the document. I apologize, I'm going to do some scrolling here. Um, at the At the bottom of all of the instructional documents for your assignments, there will be um, a rubric where I will post this in your journal. So just be aware of the the checklist for your assignments and um, take a look at what you'll be graded on and make sure that you include um, all of these um, components for your assignments. Um, moving on to the Google Cultural Institute. Um, I think this is a great way to um, bring in some more depth into your assignments and and for your future classrooms. Um, by using the search tool, this is what I like to use first. Um, you can search for any landmark, person, um, any art or anything. Um, they also have some other ways to search um, here if you wanted to look through here first. They start with places and they have a bunch of lists of um, cities around the world um, that you can search for here. Um, but I'll get started um, really quickly with um, just showing you a little bit more when using the Google, Google Tour Builder. Um, so one of my favorite places is the East Side Gallery in Berlin. So this was also in my um, in the instructional document for. Um, an example to show you um, here we've got if you click on that little icon it will show you all of the um, the artwork and the description of um, the remaining piece of the Berlin Wall so I won't scroll down too much but it goes through and it uh, they took a picture of every piece of artwork that they have um, that still stands on the Berlin Wall today um, so I thought this was a really cool piece to add. They have a lot of good information here. Um, next we'll try the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So if Paris is your location, um, this is going to be um, a huge highlight for a lot of people. They talk about the construction of the Eiffel Tower, um, the people that were involved in um, the architecture. So by clicking on this icon, you can get some more information um, here. They've got a nice slideshow with some facts here and some old photos. Um, so this is another great example um, of what uh, the Eiffel Tower has to offer here. Um, the Sydney Opera House in Australia. This also has some great um, pieces in here of how it was constructed. Um, a little bit more about the the views outside and then inside of the, the opera house. Um, when I see these features like this, I do like to click on those. Um, it provides a lot more information, um, and you can click through the photos and see more. This one provides a nice video that shows the Opera House as well. Um, next. Um, another place that I'd like to go to is um, the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. So this has a lot of nice information about Anne Frank and um, I don't know how that happened. So it provides some more information about her and um, where where she was um, in hiding in the annex. Um, and it shows some some photos that I haven't seen before. Um, so I think this is a really cool piece to add if um, if any of you um, 
include your tour um, of Amsterdam in your tour. So I think this is a, a really cool piece um, to add to that. So if you have any questions, please give me, um, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to help. Um, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit more in-depth um, look into the culture of, of your locations and or if they're landmarks or um, if they're memorials. Um, please dig a little bit deeper. Don't just Google or search and type in the first thing that you see for the Google uh, Cultural Institute. Dig a little bit deeper into your topic and and really find some cool and interesting facts or images or videos that have been put together um, by the people of Google Cultural Institute. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me um, an email. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.